Billed as the biggest offshore wind turbines in the world, these monsters have just been erected in the North Sea, one kilometre from the Northumberland coast. Every component of the two huge turbines has been prefabricated on land and then floated out to sea, where they'll sit in water eight metres deep. Here, a purpose-built platform, rather like an oil rig, holds the giant crane that assembles the turbines on site. This is one of the windiest places in Europe, so it's an ideal place for harvesting wind energy and for making the most of our lousy weather. But the exposed location also means the turbines are subject to the full force of the North Sea. Drilled straight into the rock, the foundations have been specially designed to withstand both the battering of the North Sea's waves and the turning of the huge blades. Giant hollow tubes make up the 70-metre towers that hold the blades clear of the waves below, and each has been painstakingly craned into place. The turbine's 33-metre blades were finally lifted into position just last month. No mean feat when each is bigger than the wings of a jumbo jet. Engineers are ready to connect the turbine's undersea cables right now, but ironically the weather is holding them up. All being well, they should finally be connected later this week. It's expected that at full power, the turbines will generate enough electricity to power 3,000 houses a year, and at no greater cost than conventional power. And we can see a lot more of these giant wind turbines. Their builders say there's enough wind out at sea to supply the UK's electricity three times over.